Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Dave. And uh, we're from Wide World, and today we're going to demonstrate Repercussions, which, are, which is our newest library. It's a grand percussion library full of 30 years worth of collecting, basically. Tuned, untuned, and unusual instruments for your pleasure. Uh, th so straight on in. Here's how it looks, and here we're going to show you a bunch of what it can do. So we're just starting with a simple drum, which sounds nice. So it's been recorded in the Stalamaris Chapel, which we have access to, and... It sounds great. It's got a beautiful acoustic, so we've really spent some time trying to mic these, and you get... you can have a close mic. You can have a middle-of-the-room mic, or you can be way down the far end. And so they're just pristinely recorded sounds and we've kind of left them alone because the ambience is there if you want it or you can have them dry uh, and it's just such a nice room. So that's all good, Steve. Mm. Um, enjoying that. So let's hear, uh, say, now, if Steve plays that, he's played this purple one down here, that's now playing uh, patterns that we've program patterns program patterns yep. using these blue notes yep. sequencing them up I'm going to play one of these green ones up here and they are all performed rhythms that will play in whatever tempo your door's in that's good I like it that sound good mm. okay now depending on what tempo you're at they should all everything should sync we're just playing it off the keyboard now, so not everything's going to sync beautifully, but you get sliced versions, yeah. stretched versions, and depending on what tempo you're at, one may work better than the other. Yeah, just worth having a play. I'm not quite liking the slice sound, it's only subtly different. But we'll go through here now, and we'll show you the scatterbox. So the scatterbox is our own um, curated convolution machine. A lot of the synced patches, they will sync to the um, the tempo of whatever your session's at. And these are synced IRs of all sorts. You get short and long, and they just help you rhythmically. Yeah. Let's have a look at what we can get. That's nice. sorts of um, synced uh, but you're not just synced Steve we could go and get no, no. the atmospheric on it Please. there you go oh, oh, that's nice. Quite, yeah that's nice and each mic you can take down or up an octave but you don't have to, we can bring these ones in. I'm still at that original. Yeah, so it's just adding an octave to the to the mix. Okay. Okay, so that's that. So you could uh, we can show you some of these later on, but I would like to go here, Steve, mm -hmm. to the tuned section. So you get, as I said, tuned, untuned, unusual. Un uh, tuned. Some beautiful clock chimes, which sound like this. Um, if you go back to the front panel there, David, you will see oh, that this has an attack as well. Oh, yeah, so we can make it more of, of a pad. Yeah. Um, but at least for the purposes of what we want to show, I'm going to go put the attack back on because we want some long sustained notes. So we're going to show you this pulse section here. Which is activated by bringing in the mod wheel. And you can actually change the pulse by using the table. So on sustained sounds, it's another way of adding some interest. You can change the rate. Or you could even put it in free time if you felt like it. If you turn the rate up if you're in free time, it's cool. It becomes quite granular. So, Tin Pam, what's that do? It's 
should be good with an arpeggiator, I reckon, Steve. And you can, of course, all these patterns, including the pulse, you can just change them. Just put a little hole in it. Take the right back. How about the cajon? Got it. Okay. Ah, yes. Now the cajon has the speed control. So, what's I think also what's worth saying, Steve, is our cajon has got oh, a yeah. bass drum and a snare on, snare off, and a little hi hat. But again, we've made some patterns and we've done some feels. But it also um, has a speed knob, and that's because any of the patches that have flams or roughs, you can alter their tempo a little bit. Yeah, depending on the tempo of your session, you might want to speed them up or slow them down to, you know. You can only take them so far or they're going to sound a yeah. bit artificial, but you can alter them to fit in yeah, a certain if you need tempo. To. If you need Probably to. Probably don't, actually, but you know, what the hell. Maybe just run us and show us what's what's making those blue notes. The cajon has like a, a kick drum, okay, an actual pedal, and so these are the hitting the face of it uh, with the snare off, and then again with the snare on for the roughs and flams, and then the hi hat, and then some sort of more Tommy. Any of these sort of feels that I'm playing here on these green keys. They would play whatever tempo your door is at. Uh, there's also the um, program feels too down here. Well, that's a beautiful sounding instrument, I reckon, Steve. Okay, let's go here. We're just, I think what we should do, everybody, is we'll just kind of skip through a few things okay. and show a few, you know. Okay, claps and stomps. So you get, as you can see down here, you get claps. This is a single person. A and stomp. a stomp. A um, couple of people. Uh, a small group. And then, finally, a larger group. Yeah. Right, cool. Uh, symbols. So Steve's mucking around with the mod wheel and doing whatever pattern this one has. Oh, quite an interesting pattern. I feel like this could have a fruity... Um... Oh, we haven't really made use of the octave. We can always tune some of it down an octave if we feel oh, like yeah. it. This would be nice with the old um, scatter box. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, like one of those Atmos ones. Uh, okay, I'll get an Atmos one. Say something like this. Small metal. metal. Again, the green notes will have some sort of rhythmic performed by us. Like a cowbell. Um, um, it's kind of some sort of metal thing. <laughs> Which is pretty self-evident. Um, small symbols. Bowed. What do these feels do? That's nice. Anyway, okay, that's that one. What about this one? Miscellaneous one. Again, these are a sort of. Oh, oh this nice. is a. I like this. This, nice. this is a var. Um, a vase. Vase. A vase. <laughs> a vase. A va <laughs> Some it's, sort of a vase. Uh, actually, 
And what's interesting, we had, um, for the last few months, we've had some, not interns, they're doing a master's course at university and they have come hanging out with us to help on this. And Morgan, one of them, tuned his vase on the fly by filling it with water. He's got perfect pitch. So And that was very helpful. It was helpful, because he could just go, oh, I'll just take this up another semitone and did it. This could be nice with a pitchator on it, do you think? Or could it be dud? Good. I always like when the arpeggiator goes up an octave. Give it a bit of swing. It's quite bubbly, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Brewing. We're putting on a brew. I'm just going to pick. Oh, that's nice. liking that. Snare brushes or snare sticks would you like to hear? Um, either or. No, nah, I'm going to bass drums. Oh, okay. We've been having lots of, let's go and hear <coughs> some, sorry. <coughs> <laughs> you have been coughing a lot lately. <laughs> Are you sure you're well? So there's a selection of about oh, four so different bass drums. So you can get a very different sound on this. Yeah, depending on which, how you use the microphones. That's blooming nice. I like this one. No, this one. Don't you like that one? I like that one. I like them <laughs> all, but... Um, that is nice. Oh, there's a few rim shots as well. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, I just want to have on the air, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, now we can go to the snare. We'll go to the brush, shall we? All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah, nice. And a little, you get a little thing up the end. Do it. Oh. And with this, oh, yeah. you do get a top snare and a. So you get top a choice and there, mic, top yeah. and bottom mic. You don't hear that so much on those ones on the no. uh, mid and far, well, but you can. That's um, sort of obvious. Yeah. And what do you get up here? Actually, the speed um, knob is down. It should be up in the middle. Nice and nice. All sorts of a bunch of good stuff. Sticks, sneer sticks. What do we get here, Steve? The same sort of thing, but rolls. You get it's rolls, nice. you get it with the sneer off. Rim shots and I'm gonna turn the release up a bit, it sounds a bit like it's a bit short. Oh this is nice, nice pattern. Of variation on your room. 
loving it. We haven't shown the filters. Okay. We can filter. I don't know why we'd want to ruin this sound, but I will. So you could take. It might just be. You might find yeah. that it's useful to um, sit, sit yeah. in some a sounds you would or something. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Uh, okay. Now. Tambourines. Here's a whole bunch of tambourines, but I'm going to go to this last one, Steve, tambourine three. Mm -hmm. Each patch is three tambourines. It's nine different tambourines, but I like these ones because these, these tambourines are skinned. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, so, uh, each of them will have on the D, I think it's the C and the D. Now, can you play me? Oh shit! These these patterns have actually sort of been worked. These rhythms. Yeah. It goes. So you get a straight. I no, this doesn't have the swung. What's the one? Oh, that's the um. No, no, no. The the, the swung yeah. feels up actually on the keys. So what do we got there? A shuffle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with a... And then... A rattle. Oh, the sort of, Yeah. And then the rattle. Nice. So they all do that, basically. Yep. What does this one do? A whole bunch of miscellaneous tom. But this is really just a, like a toolkit of Tom Tom stuff, which is just useful kind of um, additions to things. But you do get a normal Tom as well. As in a normal Tom, I mean, it's got left, right, and a whole bunch of velocity levels. Yeah. And the flams and roughs. Uh, um, sticks and mallets and rim shots as oh, a higher tom too. A whole bunch of tom. Yeah. And some feels. Actually, we've been having a discussion lately with uh, other people in other parts of the world say feels. We'd call these feels, feels or as opposed to say grooves or a rhythm. Yeah. I don't know if that's a universal term or not. Oh, so Steve, stop for a sec. So this does show you the difference between it's stretched and sliced. So, you, um, I don't know, which do you prefer? Well, to, it would sort of depends. That's sort of got a gated feel about it. Yeah. Um, These, 
We actually had one of my favourite New Zealand drummers of. We did. Ricky Gooch did the. Uh, he did these nice feels. That one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I think he I, did a really short no, feel then. I, th I think I might have done that. Um, now, down the bottom here, Steve, we might as well show this. Oh, yeah. These are the beginnings of this whole library. And these are, um, oh, look, I can't even find them. Um, it's just the raw materials, just single vents of all the stuff that was for our own purposes in the past. And we, this is where the idea of yeah. repercussions came from. And, so. and they're just really um, sort of close mic in our nice old studio. Yeah, different studio. And, and you only um, get one mic. You only get the one mic, but they're um but they're just actually really nice and really useful. And there's a whole bunch across the keyboard you can see by my sweeping hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's that of one. Different um here's the next one. Oh they just sound the white bits, hey? Yeah. Rain stick. Rattles, all sorts of stuff. Now that's um, that's that all untuned. We've only really let's kind of have a look in the unusual section, Steve. Oh, you get an anvil. Oh no, you get a whole bunch of metal. You get yeah. So these would be good. I think this is where, say, one of these atmospheric ones could come into its own. What would be a good one? What about? Well, that's actually not bad. Suitable Halloween one, that one. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, that's. I'm getting a different one. I'm sick of that feedback. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Keep doing that. Turn that off. Uh, just, I think Steve, this might be worth showing where what proximity does. Oh, yeah. So, so it's kind of like perceived nearness in a way. So basically, if if you wind it down, David, it's like it sounds much further away. <laughs> it didn't seem to. Yeah, it does. And then, oh, you get much more. more up in your face. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Okay. 
I bet you everyone's going, what's a rommel pot sound like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> a rommel pot is a, a friction, a friction drum. drum. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So make of it what you will. We found it really useful, to be perfectly honest. I've played it in a band. Steve and I are part of a, a jazz band, and one of the instruments I played was this for a fair while, but it, it drew too much and, uh, attention, it, well, really. Didn't well, it was it? a ballad. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of. Anyway, uh, and so it was so good, we did it twice. This has actually got feels too. This is band chain puller. Oh, yeah, it is too. Feel doing. Let's hear that. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah. What can you say? Yeah. Okay. Sex of part one. This is, we've got a couple of good mates who are very good saxophonists, Neil Duncan and Jeff Henderson. And between them, over the last period of time, they came and did this. So this is just the pads. This is the key, key, key pad noises. Which are just very, ah, that'd be good with an arpeggiator on them, I reckon. Let's hear that. Okay. Up here, starting on B flat, which I guess is where that horn starts. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> you just get some nice. What is it? Is it alto? What's he playing? <laughs> <laughs> Can someone phone in? <laughs> alto? Is it? Yeah, it's an alto. B flat's tricky. Start having an instrument starts on a B flat on a keyboard. I find Steve. Mm. Anyway, that's that. But uh, we'll go back to the arpeggiator because that was actually more good. Can well, no, let's move on. Let's go to um, okay because we've kind of seen that one. Saxo part two. This is a whole bunch of uh, other ones. Neil. Oh, this is right. Neil. Velocity levels. I think you get. All right. I feel like we're quiet. Get, get, get <laughs> That's my left hand. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it wasn't really working. It's just a whole variety of. But having. Stop for a sec. Yeah. Uh, having uh, Morgan, our young film student with the perfect pitch turn up means you can go, hey, Morgan, can you tune all this for it? Put it... So, put he, it, so put he would it, sort of choose... Put it in a useful key. Yeah. yeah. Put on. It's quite useful to have a person yeah. with perfect pitch. It's I asked like, Morgan how he did it, and he said uh, he's got synesthesia. Morgan tuned... A chroma harp with 33 strings without having a reference note. 
<laughs> uh, reference pitch. Tune the whole thing up. Yeah. low C that we did a sub patch we just like this sound it was like oh this it's nice it is nice isn't it what's this doing mod wheel is um what about the attack what does that do on it? That's great. But moving right mm. along. Let's go. Thunder drum one or two, Steve. I'm easy. Okay. One of them's got feels, I think. Let's have a look. Not uh, that one. So these are, if you know what a thunder drum is, it's like a little, what is it? It's a little skin that's got a, a spring on spring it. On it. Um, you hear them You hear them all over soundtracks, actually. You hear them quite a bit. It's such a useful sound. These ones are good. Mm. It's like a... It's like a growling tiger or something, eh? Oh. <laughs> like, don't go in the cave. Space pan, but let's try a different. What are what do you think? Or oh, that's nice. spoons in this wooden spoons and metal spoons Steve played these because Steve's a spoons player I love these these are some um, I think there's some areas some areas they call them bonang but uh, talampong I think in Sumatra they're called talampong little metal, or quite large metal pots um, that 
Oh, right, about like eight inches across or something? I don't know, what's that? I don't think an inch is anymore. Oh, yeah. That's like a quite a big round, like a bowl, really. And they were quite hard to bring back from Indonesia when we were backpacking to carry a whole bunch of them around with us. Nice right. though, aren't they, Steve? Yeah, they're nice, very nice. Um, see, they would be good with something on them. Mm. Again, Scatterbox comes with a long and a short version. Oh, it's full Balinese now. But I like that, that's quite a... some of it down an octave. Proximity, bring it, we'll take it way over there somewhere. It's quite a good thing to go out on, actually, Steve. I think it is. So that's our job done. There's um, just keep going, and I'll fill them in. Percussions. While Steve's playing that beautiful Talampong feel, I will reiterate a toolkit of tuned, untuned, and unusual percussive things, and there's 50 something different instruments. And so you get these tuned ones. Oh, we didn't play the kalimba, but I'm not going there now. A uh, whole bunch of of stuff and unusual ones such as, such as spoons and thunder drum and log drums. We didn't hear the log drums either, but maybe at a later time. So um, that's repercussions. It's available now. It's on special, sixty-nine dollars, and it'll be going up to ninety-nine very shortly. You do want it 